Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here to share with you a very simple, classic recipe. This is my recipe for tuna casserole. So what you'll need is a bag of egg noodles. This is a 12 ounce bag of the extra wide egg noodles. You can actually use any type of pasta noodle for this recipe, but I do like the egg noodles with this. You'll need a couple cups of shredded cheese. You'll need a can of cream of mushroom soup. A can of tuna will drain that. You'll need about half a bag of frozen peas. We'll need a little bit of milk, probably about a can's worth or maybe a little, three quarters of a can's worth of milk here. And towards the end of baking this recipe, we're gonna give it a classic casserole topping. And that is where these Lay's potato chips come in. I'm gonna go ahead and crunch up some of these and use them as a topping for this casserole. That is one of my favorite ways to top a casserole. I have a few ways. I've done buttered bread crumbs, uh, Ritz crackers kind of crushed up as well as adding a little butter with that or corn flakes with a little bit of butter or French fried onions. But Lay's classic potato chips make a wonderful um, casserole topping. So the first step in making this casserole will be to heat up in a nice big pan here some water to go ahead and cook our pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this water boiling then I'll add my pasta and I'll come back to show you the next step. Okay so my water is boiling and I'm gonna go ahead and add my bag of egg noodles. I'll give that a stir and let that go ahead and cook according to package directions. Then when they're all cooked, I will go ahead and drain them out and return them to the pan and I'll come back to show you the next step. Okay, so I've cooked up my package of noodles. I've drained them and I've returned them to the pot here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my ingredients. First, I'll start by adding my can of cream of mushroom soup. And then I've added about um, a little more than half of a can of milk here. We'll start with that. If we need a little bit more, we can add more. Give that a stir. Just to start it incorporating. I'm gonna go ahead now, I, I forgot to mention that we will also be adding pepper and salt. I'm gonna do that now while I um, don't have very many other ingredients in here so I can see how much I'm adding. I just kinda do this to taste. Just a nice sprinkle of pepper in there, not too much. But just enough to give it a little seasoning. A little dash of salt there. The cream of mushroom soup has a lot of salt already, so I don't love to add a ton of salt to this recipe. Okay, so we've got our cream soup in there and our salt and pepper. Next, I'm going to add a can of drained um, tuna here. This is a seven ounce can packed in water. So I'm adding that. I'll go ahead and give this a stir. Just break up that tuna and get it all stirred around and incorporated in the pasta here. I'm making sure to break up any big chunks of tuna so that it can spread evenly throughout the casserole. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my green peas, my frozen green peas. This is about half a bag. I may add a little bit less than all of it. I think it might be a little bit more than half a bag, but we'll see what that looks like. I think I might as well add the rest. There we go. As you can see, it's starting to look like a casserole already. Now I'm going to add a couple cups of our shredded cheddar cheese. I'm just going to put it in by the handful. A handful is not quite a cup. Let's kind of eye it. We'll start with that right there. Probably a little less than two cups. I don't like it to be too cheesy, but you need enough cheese in there to kind of bind the casserole together and of course for that delicious cheesy flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna get this all stirred up. When it's all combined, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my casserole dish with pan spray and transfer this over to my casserole dish. I've got my oven preheating at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I think I'm gonna add just a little splash more milk just to make sure that it's got some nice moisture in there and doesn't dry out. 
Okay, so we've got that all mixed up pretty nicely. I'll give that another stir right before I transfer it. Here I've got out my casserole dish, and again, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with pan spray just so the casserole doesn't stick. And now I'm going to put my casserole in the dish here. Okay. So I've transferred it to my casserole dish here. I'm gonna go ahead and spread it out. Make sure that everything is in there evenly. Make sure that we don't have one big pocket of uh, tuna or peas or anything like that. So we'll spread it out like so. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cover this with foil and bake it at 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes until the cheese has melted and it starts to be a little bit bubbly. Then I'll come back and remove the foil and we'll top it with our potato chips. We will crunch up some of the potato chips and top the casserole with it when it's all done cooking and then return it to the oven for probably about 5 to 10 minutes to crisp up the potato chips and give them a little bit of uh, time to brown. And that is all it takes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this covered in foil and put in the oven and I'll be back to show you the next step when it's done baking. Again, that's 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes until the cheese is melted and the casserole is starting to be hot and bubbly. I have checked my casserole and it is bubbling nicely. Before I take it out of the oven so that it doesn't cool down too much, I'm going to go ahead now and break up crush up some of these Lay's potato chips for the topping. So I've got a little um, Ziploc baggie here, and I'm going to go ahead and fill it with some Lay's potato chips and crunch them up. As I add them to the bag, when the bag gets a little bit full, I kind of give them a crunch, just like that, and shake them down to the bottom so I can fit a few more inside. I want to be sure to get enough for the whole entire top of the casserole. You don't want to break these up into too small of pieces, but you definitely um, want them to be broken up into like quarter inch to half inch little size um, pieces. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and seal that so I don't get chip crumbs everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and break these up a bit. I think I'll add a few more just to be on the safe side. Make sure I have enough. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's pretty good. If I see any other big chunks in there when I'm chopping my casserole, I can break those up at that time. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my casserole out of the oven and take the foil off. You can see it is steaming hot. Well, maybe you can see. You can certainly hear it bubbling there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take my bag of chips and sprinkle it over the top of the casserole. And then I'm just going to use my hands to carefully spread it around without touching the side of the pan here because it is very hot. I'm going to get those to the edges and all around the top. Okay, so there we have it. It's topped with potato chips. I'm going to return it to my 375 degree oven for about 5 to 10 minutes. I'm going to keep my eye on it. I don't want the potato chips to burn. So we'll go ahead and put these in here until the potato chips are a nice golden brown. I'll come back and show you how it turns out. My tuna casserole is out of the oven. I ended up leaving the potato chips in there for about 10 minutes, maybe even closer to 12 to 15. And in the last five minutes, because they weren't browning, I turned the temperature up to 400 degrees. Of course, when you raise the temperature, you really want to keep an eye on that. Um, for some reason, they just weren't browning very quickly. So next time I do this, I will definitely turn up the temperature to 400 when I go ahead and top them with the potato chips to brown those. So this is our casserole. You can see that it made quite a bit of very big casserole dish here full of yummy casserole. I'm going to go ahead now and plate this up for dinner and show you how I'm serving it tonight for dinner. Here I have our dinner all served up. This is my tuna casserole. I'm serving it alongside of a nice helping of broccoli there. And for dessert, I made golden brownies, another recipe that I have recently shared. So you can go ahead and look that up in my videos, my golden brownies. If you don't like tuna, this recipe is also very easy to make by just switching out the tuna for canned turkey or canned chicken. You could also add in diced ham or anything like that. This is just a nice, easy casserole recipe that you can switch up 
however you would prefer. So that's our dinner tonight, a wonderful classic tuna casserole with a potato chip topping. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this recipe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.